G'day, Thermo here. Are you ready to know now? Rejuvenation for your brain. Let's know now how SPR, or sustained pressure rejuvenation, is applied post failure, after a cable fails. SPR is the most advanced rejuvenation technology. Protected by several US patents and their foreign equivalents, it is available only from Novinium and Novinium Partners. SPR provides the best post-failure reliability because the sustained pressure improves dielectric performance in days instead of the months required with unsustained pressure rejuvenation. In fact, Novinium technology is the only approach approved by the FERC to be capitalised in post-failure circumstances. To learn even more about the advantages of sustained pressure rejuvenation, check out the paper, Better With Pressure, available at the link shown. Consider a typical underground residential circuit with a cable connecting transformers A and B. When the cable fails, it has to be switched out of service and the fault must be excavated and spliced. Why not inject the cable now, since most of the work required to treat the cable has already been completed? The failure is exposed and old terminations are removed and discarded. Cable ends are prepared to exacting specifications and verified with laminated templates to assure perfect dimensions. Splice bodies are positioned on the cable and injection adapters, or IAs, are positioned on all cable ends one at each termination and two at the failure. Now each IA is swaged in place, making an electrical connection which is superior to a standard crimped connection and a tenacious fluid tight seal on each cable end. Injection tools are installed on each IA. Feed and receiving bottles are placed on the end of each cable sub-segment. Fluid is injected at moderate pressure for 100 metres, or 328 feet, of a typical 19-strand cable, the injection takes about 30 minutes. When the injection is complete, the moderate injection pressure is sustained as the IAs are plugged. Feed bottles and injection tools are removed. Splices and terminations are slid into place. Any splice pits are restored and the cable is put back in service. Over the next seven days, the residual pressure left on the system decays and the AC breakdown strength approaches the nominal value of a new cable. Now you know the basics of the state-of-the-art sustained pressure rejuvenation technology applied on cables after they have failed. If there is more that you would like to know now, check out my other Know Now modules at Novinium's e-learning site. Write to me at bull.frog at novinium.com or read and comment on my blog at www.novinium.com forward slash frog blog. See you later.